What happened? Just show him the ticket and we're gonna look at his reaction. <laughs> It is the first day of FL2K. It's going to be a great event. As you guys saw the last time, we got our first seven, but we really weren't able to stay in it that much. We still have the 60 foot issues, but hey, we got that first seven out of the way. Now it's time to go deeper in the sevens, and I'm really hoping we can do that at this event. We've got Russell with us. He's going to be on the keyboard, filling over there, cleaning the car up. He's been getting this thing ready all morning. We actually dropped some weight out of the car, so we got a golf cart. I traded my street bike for a golf cart. So we pulled 100 more pounds out of the car, probably pull another 100 here pretty soon. Took the dash out, seat out, seat belts, put some lightweight foot runners on it. Probably gonna end up taking the alternator off, lightweight rear battery, lose that big AGM heavy dude in the back, carbon doors, get rid of the power windows, all that kind of stuff. Guys, this thing was like in street trim, but not today. Let me show you the inside of this thing. She has been gutted. There's no dad. Hold on, let me come around here. Anyways, so yeah, got the whole tunnel exposed, no passenger seat, got all that out of there. It actually looks pretty gangster in here. I like it. For some reason, I kind of like it. Let I me mean, guys know what you think. Drop a comment. Let me know. I think it's just cool because you can see so much carbon and like the double frame rail. It just looks sick. And then I got to show you guys the new golf cart whip. Woo! She is mint too. Pretty sick, man. Like honestly, not a bad golf cart. We just had to put like 40 bottles of water in there because the batteries were low water and uh, you know, like race car problems. Wouldn't be having it if I just kept it a street car. So we're gonna go get teched in and then give this FL2K thing a run for its money. Sorry guys, we are late for round one. Uh, they're already running stick right now. We're gonna hopefully just get up in the lanes and be able to knock, knock our round one qualifying out. Luckily, Friday is just qualifying. We don't actually don't have to make this round, but we're on our way up right now. I got my suit, about to get it ready and slap these little stickers on the car. We'll be good to go. What happened Dude, here? We barely made it. Barely? We, we tried to attempt to have a race car, but it's just not in our blood, I guess, because because the golf cart died halfway to the staging lanes. <laughs> so I just drove it the rest of the way. Hey, it is what it is. We made it though. Round one qualifying, let's go. She, right. got, she got a baby tune up in it. Pretty soft, but it should go seven. So. <laughs> No, first thing I'm gonna do is reach for my hat. Dude, that was smooth. I didn't feel that fast, but it felt smooth. So, we can definitely get data off of that. That's awesome. I guess I'll streetcar this thing and just drive her back again. Seven look easy right there. It's almost like I've done this before. What type of tune you got in it? Very soft tune up this thing. This thing? Cool yeah. It about this big. That's Picanha. <laughs> I don't know. Rosie, was that proper Spanish? That's Picanha? No. What? Well, what? Well, no? Damn. <laughs> I didn't pass Spanish. I didn't pay attention to that. Okay? Alright. Yeah, we just. Wow. 790. 7945 and. Boy. 173. 173. It felt like it kind of laid on its face. I don't know if it slipped into the clutch or. Yeah, it looked like maybe the clutch was slipping on the back end again. We'll see. Dude, it left perfect, though. It did. What do you think about that, baby? Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Check it out. Either it's slipping or 
<laughs> Something else is going on. I think mean, so. But we got data. Let's go. Betty White yeah, go in the staging lanes for round two qualifying. We're about to walk up to the yeah, tower right now and see what we're at for qualifying round one because we went 790s off the trailer. Like, that's refreshing, guys. That's so refreshing. We got some stiff competition. This is Robert Miller in the Stick Shift World car. And I know he's going to be really fast. And all these guys up here are stick cars. So a lot of stick cars. We're an outlaw. I love it. Shake and bake, baby. <laughs> Watch yourself. Woo! We got a Supra, and then we got LS George right here about to make a rip. Boy, that thing just sounds rowdy. What do you think you're going to do? Wheelie. Wheelie? Come on, George. Let's see what this unit does. Still sent it though. Uh, I had to basically see what 30 pounds was gonna look like on the plug. So. Boom. Don't know what it ran, but I don't think it was seven. All right, Mr. Rustin. So in terms that everybody can understand, what are we doing here? Smart coils can sometimes act funny whenever they're on a solid state relay and we are going to guess that that's what's happening on this one. So we're going to bypass the solid state relay and do something you're never supposed to do and go straight to the battery with the smart coil power. In the name of trying to go fast, this is what we're going to do. And okay. I hope it works. And so yeah, what would we have? What was the issue though? More or less, it's like a, a labor misfire in all gears. No heat on the plugs. Motors just not making any power. Okay. And we're trying to figure out why it went slower on 40 pounds of boost than it did on 20. So do you, are you yeah. saying that basically the power is being interrupted to the coils? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you can even get on it. That's the wrong socket. It's a 12 point. So you're adjusting the clutch weights inside the car, right? I am that. Oh, uh, look at that. The next day. Welcome to day number two here at FL2K, guys. Uh, we're going to walk over here to Grub Wearer Trailer, which is the number one qualifier right now. We're the number five qualifier out of 32 cars. He's got this thing idling, getting a little bit warm in the pits. And I just wanted to big hats off to this guy. This thing is fast. Smart poles hooked up to an MSD solid state relay. 
I've heard from a very reliable source that that does not work out well. So we have straight wired those to the battery just for now. And my scramble button right here actually doesn't add boost. This time it's gonna add timing. So if it falls on its face, it'll add three degrees of timing. And we're just, we're going theory testing right now. This is our Q4 and we're testing theories. <laughs> At least we already made a good rip, so 790 is our best right now. Hoping to go faster. Let's get it, man. It's gonna be a good day. All right, guys, this is it. First pass, day number two. Let's get it, baby. Lord bless us and let us be safe and fast. What a freaking event. Grub worm just went 670 in front of me. I'm super pumped because whatever my problem is, I just fixed it and I blew right through the clutch. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's that in your hand, bud? What does it say? That is a new PB for Betty White. This is kind of a funky time slip, guys, but I'm gonna explain it to you real quick. This is a PB in the eight for sure. We went 480s in the 8, 116 to the 60 foot, which is rolling out. And it blew through the clutch on the big end, so I had to let out way early and still went 770 at like way down a mile per hour. And I have this weird thing where whenever I let out of the gas, <laughs> I'll automatically get on the brakes. There's so much good stuff going on today. Yeah, yeah. This is a great pit spot. This is a great pit spot. Like Jonathan and the Grub Worm just reset the stick shift hold record to 670. I just went a personal best, 770 and that was letting out way early. We're about to chip away at this. We have a six second car on our hands. I don't care. 480 stick shift car, not turned up all the way. Was that 37 pounds? 37 pounds of boost, guys. So if you think that I won't double that, you got me totally messed up. Russin, my, my tuner's shaking his head. 70 is a little much. <laughs> he forgot to pull the shoot. I didn't forget to pull it, I just went out where it was. Oh, I should have pulled the parachute. That's why I didn't pull it. Why you always lying? I don't even know. We're headed out to round number five, final round of qualifying. And uh, getting ready on the new Dragonator 2000 Slayer. Russ is on it. Dragonator 2000 with Julian and the car. Let's go. Round five. Last one of qualifying. I don't know what I ran. I know it was fast though. Golly, I know that was fast. Praise God. <laughs> Man, like, guys, I want you to know that I pray before every single pass. And I thank God for all the opportunities to be here and doing this, you know, participating in this great sport. But most of all, I pray for him to allow me to be the best that I can be. It's not about being better than anybody else. Yes, you are in competition, but if you just play your own game, you would really be surprised how far you could take yourself just focusing on yourself and being the best you can be, you know, and not being selfish. So, I don't know how fast that was, but I know it's fast. Golly, let's go. Everybody's giving me thumbs up, so it's gotta be fast. All right, guys, before he sees it, 114. What happened? Why didn't they pick up? You're bullshit, dude. No. I know it picked up. You're smiling at your ass. <laughs> I know that was fucking crazy, man. Just show him the ticket, and we're gonna look at his reaction. <laughs> 114 to the 60? 470. Huh? 470. Oh my god! <laughs> go, let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. I'm so pumped. 742. Hey, we're knocking on this thing. We're we're getting this thing live. Dude, out. Your ass was like. 
Hello. <laughs> you had a high booty. I was tuned in. I was tuned in. <laughs> Two booty. Like you left like this, but you dropped. Excellent. You left hard. They carried the front wheels. It looked like 100 feet. Dude, really? You, you yeah. you hit I got it from the front. So hard. Oh my god, dude. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that puts us number three qualifier, it's baby. Four. Joel Granis just went 680. Oh god. Oh, you need to see that pad. Back and forth. We're gonna get this thing back to the trailer, get the parachute packed up, look at the data log, see how much more boost we can add, which is probably gonna be a lot. And we're gonna we're gonna we're going after the big boys guys. Like we're 740s now. They're leaps and bounds. Seven freaking 40 and 185. We got a mile an hour to pick up too. Oh yeah. Let's go. And they like, pop, pop, pop. Do you go like this? Pop pop pop! Look, it's been a long day, guys. It's yeah. it's been a long day, but look, it's been a long, successful day. We're setting new personal. Uh, give me my card, boy. Jeffrey Ooh. handed it to me. <laughs> All right, it's been a freaking great day, guys. I don't even know what to say. I'm so I'm so stoked that the car went so fast. We figured out our problems. We had some issues whenever we got here this morning. We thought all night about it. We came here. We executed. And it's fixed. So it's the grub worm. He went 675, then Granis went 680, and then John Rogers went 735, and then I went 740. Good morning, guys. It is the finals. This is FL2K, the final day. So we qualified with a 740 yesterday. Russ and Julian and I are about to get to work on the car. Jeffrey's on the way here, and we got a lot of things to do this morning. We think we burned up a smart coil yesterday, so we have to replace that. Put some new oil in the car real quick, change plugs. Pack the parachute, get ready for first round. We're gonna have the vet pretty turned up today. I wouldn't even be surprised if we get close to the sixes. So that's really what I'm gunning for, guys. We we gotta we gotta push the envelope because these guys up here are definitely pushing the envelope, and that's our competition. Hey, and y'all need to help me come up with a name for this golf cart right here. We we gotta call her something. Black Betty. Black Betty. Truck car Black Betty. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's always giving me just as many problems as my Corvette. <laughs> and it's my daily. I know one thing is for sure, we're not going to worry about being better than anybody else. We're going to be the best we can possibly be. And we're going to see how far that takes us today. Hopefully it'll take us all the way to the finals. I think it's going to be a good one. Look how freaking nasty this oil is. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, that's like legitimately, what is that, five passes? That's five passes on this oil. Method oil life. Got a Julian underneath there. He's getting the old change. We already got the smart coal put on there. We're on our way. We're on our way. We're, we're getting close. Betty White's ready to go. I think we're ready for our first round today. Yesterday, to run that 740, we were on about, what, 38 pounds of boost, Rustin? Uh, yeah. 38, 38 pounds yesterday. And we also think we were down a cylinder. So we went ahead and replaced that coal. So it should pick up on the same exact tune up. But just in case, what, did you put like 40 on the dome? So it should make like 43 pounds-ish, 42, 43 pounds of boost right now. As you guys know, the really fast boys out here have been going sixes, and we want to make sure we can get that done. So Mr. Jeffrey here saved the day. He went down to some of the import guys. Shout out to you guys. Whoever gave me this 5-bar map sensor, thank you kindly. I'm not going to show you what my tuner put on it with a Sharpie because it's kind of it's inappropriate. inappropriate. But either way, we're going to lay it down today. We're going to lay it down. All of it. As long as we can go rounds, I promise you, I am not scared to turn this thing up. And Rustin ain't either. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Yes, sir. Let's get it, Rosie. Boom. See, that's that's the good luck one right there. Damn, she looked good. Look at her. Them new RC comp front runners is hitting, and they're so much lighter. I'm loving the race car diet. All right, guys. Here we go. We have five more pounds boost added to her than yesterday. And we think we fixed our down one cylinder problem. So really excited to see what the car does this time. Russ didn't even told me to grab the scramble button if it felt good, which means the car would make like, probably like 45, 46 pounds if I grab the scramble. If I don't, it'll probably make like 32. So Guys, I was telling Sam that I used this spray wax to shout up Betty White. It's looking so good right now. So make sure you head over to Harlan.com and get some of Sam's spray wax while you're there. Because that shit is the truth. Come on over, huh? That works out. I would be ready. All right, guys, we're in the stage lanes. 
and we're gonna go talk to who we're paired up with. We're actually paired up with the PFI guys right now, so we're gonna go talk to them. Wish them good luck, good racing. This thing right here. How's it going, man? Doing all right? Good luck. Good luck to you, man. This thing is fast, sweet. I better not make no mistakes, I know that. I just wanna come say good luck, y'all, and be safe, man. Yeah, man, good luck. Enjoy. It'd be awesome. Oh yeah, for sure. It's gonna be legendary. Woo. I'm so pumped up. We're prepping the track. I feel like the track's gonna be on point, guys. This is it. It's time to shine. Let's see what she does, man. She's like a little over midways turned up right now, which is gonna be spicy, so. Baby. Woo. Woo! Let's go. First round done. Hey, good race to this guys with PFI speed, guys. I don't know how fast that was, but I know I know that was a lick, so let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm pumped. <laughs> Another PB everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Hey, ah. 114 to the 60 foot, 470. 7.30? Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, man. 7.30. It is extremely hot. It is extremely hot. Now let's lean on it some more, guys. Come on. Oh my God, yes, dude. 7.30. <laughs> round one down? Huh? Off to round two. Off to round two. What? Did you see what Worm ran? Uh -huh. He only got you by two tenths. He went 7.11. Oh yeah. Hey, what was my light on that? Uh, Very good. Seven. Yeah. What'd you think, Rose? All right, guys, here we going into round two. It has been a long day. We really haven't done too much, but we pulled some fuel out, laid a few cylinders up, and uh, we wired up some daytime running lights, and I think we got one headlight, because they complained last night that we didn't have our headlights on, which was fair enough, so. Just completing Betty a little bit more every track out of All right, here we go. Round two, baby. We got this in the bag or what? Yes. Look, we're just gonna run a race though. We, we're gonna run a race. If the car does what it should do, it's gonna go pretty fast. I'm gonna say it's gonna go like deep 30 or maybe even a 20. So if it does, then I think next round we're gonna be paired up with Tick if Tick wins this round. We're not gonna get too ahead of ourselves, guys. We're not gonna count our eggs for the hatch. We're just gonna run our best race. We'll make it happen. Woo! Look at old Betty. Damn, Betty. Damn, Betty. So guys, this Civic right here is who we're paired up with next. We're gonna go talk to him real quick. Hey brother, I'm Sean. Hey, Good luck man? to you. You too. Good luck. This thing is beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Exciting race. yeah, for sure, man. I don't know, we're pretty close on time, so it ought to be pretty exciting. Yes, sir.
Damn. Plug wires gotta be on backwards or something. This thing has the hardest misfire I've ever seen. That's unfortunate. Oh man, that's tough. I hate that. It is what it is, guys. We had a good run. We had a very good run here at FL2K. And we went fast, fast, fast. Can't be mad at that. It does suck though. I was really hoping I could pull a W on this one. All right, so I just told you inside the car that it had to be a backwards plug wire. And I got out, the first thing I did was check it. And I haven't touched anything since. And this number three is actually supposed to go here to number five. Number five is supposed to go to number three. And uh, that's what caused that, that major backfire and everything else, guys. So definitely an error on my fault. That was me. I put those plug wires on. And it's been a long, exhausting day. Should have double and triple checked. But I put them on. I was like, all right, that's it. This wasn't it. So no big deal. I'm still very, very pleased with how the weekend turned out. The car is going to get very much faster than what it is. And we're going to go to many more stick shift races. And we're going to dominate, honestly. Like, we're going to be right there, like top of the pack. And I can't wait for what the future holds for Betty White. And I appreciate everybody. Mr. Rustin, he's been killing it. Killing it. The man's giving it to, like the best tune ups ever. Julian has been freaking killing it. Making sure air pressure's checked. Changing all the spark plugs, etc., etc. Jeffrey's been killing it behind the camera. We've all been working together. Like Jeffrey even ran to town like an hour ago. He's been running back and forth to town all day, every day, just to pick up stuff that we didn't have that we needed. So it's a team effort. And I thank everybody here, and I thank all you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, come back to see us because it's definitely at the end. We can just swap those two plug wires around and go sixes. So like and subscribe.